Good morning, folks. Welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator, and uh, <laughs> it's update day. Uh, so new new title update has released, but I've I've encountered a, a pretty annoying bug here. Uh, if you look down here, I'm that, so I've already reset this download twice. So I've got 3.33 gigs left to download on this, and it's stuck on this file. So it was stuck on a different file earlier, 1.27 gig file that was having hell of a time downloading. And uh, I figured out a little bypass for this. So what's happening is um, previously, uh, so I recently had a, a new, uh, my, my household expanded and uh, the new roommate has a lot more internet stuff than uh, the previous one did. So our, you know, our bandwidth in the, in the apartment's a little bit limited. So I imposed, so in the flight sim options, there's uh, an option to limit the bandwidth that the game will use. So I, I enabled that to keep my, my computer from hogging all of our internet pipe, uh, essentially. Uh, unfortunately, it seems to be trying to enforce that download limit on the update. <laughs> so you can see every time it hits 20 megabytes per second here, a little pause icon pops up there and it resets the download. <laughs> it is such a pain in the butt. So you've got a couple options here. Uh, the, the main solution I saw on uh, online on forums for previous updates is to download a program called NetLimiter that you can throttle the uh, connection of the Flight Sim app to the internet. But uh, you can also just hit the pause button and give, wait a few seconds and then resume. You'll see the connection speed got throttled a bit and it slowly climbs back towards 20, which you know, whatever your limit is set at is what you'll be watching for. And just pause it again, wait a few seconds, and hit resume. And it's slowly climbing back towards 20. And just keep doing that over and over again. Stop it before, you, ooh, that was a little closer than I meant it to be. And slowly you can actually get the entire file <laughs> over time. Because if you keep hitting pause, it doesn't, it doesn't reset the actual download itself. If you leave it paused too long, it will reset. So just, you know, kind of stay with it and keep pausing it as it approaches that, as it approaches whatever your magical number is. Uh, and then of course, once you finish downloading the update, highly recommend removing the download speed limit in the settings. <sighs> Very annoying bug, uh, something that we really shouldn't be dealing with. I, I don't know why there's a downloads, why it applies its own uh, bandwidth cap to update downloads. That seems like the last place it should be doing that, especially if it breaks the download. <laughs> so, um, you know, hopefully that will eventually get fixed in an update that will also have the same problem probably. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, uh, hope this helps. Hope you manage to get through uh, the download yourself. As you can see here, we are about to finish off this file. 8, 9, and 100. Yep, there we go. We got it. And it's moved on to decompressing. So, that fix has worked for me. Hope it works for you. Thank you so much for watching. And it's only going to happen with the largest files, because as it downloads the smaller files, a lot of them, it doesn't make it up to whatever your download limit is. In my case, 20 megabytes per second. So a lot of the little files that it grabs, is just, you know, it gets the whole thing downloaded before it hits that speed limit, so it never gets interrupted. Uh, which this one's uh, probably going to require more pausing. <laughs> yeah. So actually just gonna just gonna let it go. So you can see it's still happening. Yep, there it goes. Pause and restart. <laughs> pause, restart. And it doesn't leave it paused for long enough for it no, yeah. It doesn't leave it paused long enough for the number to drop significantly, so it will just keep pausing over and over again, which will ironically chew through a ton of data because it'll keep downloading, you know, twenty megabytes at a time over and over and over again, especially if you leave it running all night, I'll just do that all night, downloading the same 20 megs over and over and over again. So definitely uh, try and... <laughs> Good luck to you if you're dealing with this too, especially if you've got an even slower internet connection than, than this. If you, I can't imagine how long this would take with like a cap of like five megabytes per second. Oh, I'm so sorry. Anyway, good luck. Have a great day. <laughs>